the other guy around our postures was built around um, helping the entire community, both from a business as well as a quality of living standpoint. Their focus is really on enhancing uh, the business climate within the, the community. And it's amazing that a chamber is able to, to pull together and do what they have done and be leaders uh, on all of these issues. I can't think of a better example of being a champion for stronger communities than Fix North I-25 and Northern Colorado Prospers. When you consider transportation and mobility, workforce, talent, and the bold voice of business, those are foundational to strong communities. Probably the initiative with Northern Colorado Prospers that mattered the most to Tolmar was the I-25 initiative. We have workers that come here from other locations in Colorado and have to drive those roads every day. We also have materials that come and go um, because we're a manufacturer and we want to make sure that our roads are accessible and that we can count on drive time. We just want people to enjoy living here and we know that transportation is a huge part of that. Because we have so many employees, because we have to continually hire more people, because we're getting older as citizens here, we're going to need more healthcare workers, um, that talent, efforts, and organizing that with the business community with a single voice has been invaluable. We couldn't do it alone just as Columbine Health Systems. Fort Collins Chamber of Commerce does an excellent job of advocating on behalf of business and really making sure that this is a good business climate and a great place to live for all of us. I think one of the things that NCP has done indirectly is it is they brought a number of business leaders together uh, to have a conversation. That business conversation amongst business leaders in Northern Colorado has created a much more regional approach to what we're what we're doing in Northern Colorado and brought people together who may not have had a reason to come together. Uh, what I really appreciated about them was was there was a couple initiatives that were were just unbelievable. And the first was they moved towards um, putting together and collecting masks and and PPE throughout the community, which you know that is not necessarily the chamber's job, but they saw a need and they mobilized and they made that happen. And um, that is that has made a big impact, uh, not only on uh, our ability within UC Health to manage this pandemic, but also the community's health. And um, I think that that is that is a very important and big deal, as well as they have uh, assisted uh, organizations with the PPP program and some of these other initiatives that are all new to us. And so they've been able to help us and others kind of navigate uh, the uh, the process and what that looks like to, to make sure that the funding is going to the right locations. You know, one of the challenges initially with COVID is there was information coming from all sorts of different um, sources. The chamber directed itself and said, listen, we are going to be, we're going to gather all the information and putting it in a central location for not only its members, uh, chamber members, but for the community as a whole to be able to access. The other thing is the chamber took on the initiatives as well as saying, listen, what are going to be the economic impacts um, to not only the businesses, but the residents and, and the people who live in, in, in Northern Colorado? And what do we need to do to help facilitate conversations to help not only these local businesses, right, but create awareness of who's open, what's available, where can people go? And the fact that they're willing to take a breath reassess the climate um, and, and, and get a, uh, a feel from the membership as to where everybody sits and their appetite for uh, moving forward with specific initiatives, I think is crucial at this point. I think this pandemic will bring out the best in Fort Collins and its residents and its people and its business owners. Um, this is a, an incredibly philanthropic and incredibly giving community to start with. Uh, and I think people that live and work in, in, in Fort Collins have really um, embraced local. And I think that businesses, if they can make themselves 
open and make people aware of what the rules are and how to access their business, I think you'll see people continue to support local, especially when they know there's a need.